Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. Thanks so much for joining me again for another video. This is going to be about everything I've got made up in May. So a few little things to show you. Um, May was a really good month, so we're now almost at the end of May now and Me Made May has been going strong. I've really, really enjoyed being part of it this year. I've been documenting my um, daily um, outfits on Instagram and I've got a highlight if you'd like to take a look over there. My pledge was to wear Me Made five days a week. I've been managing seven days a week, which has surprised even me. And I've only recently started to have to um, re-wear things Things, which is unbelievable. So I've been really, really enjoying doing that, being participating this year. And I have learned an awful lot about my me made wardrobe, about what works for me, about what doesn't, which is the most important thing. And things that I enjoy wearing, things that I don't enjoy wearing. So I put up a little um, post on my Instagram as well, saying that what has been working and what, what lessons I've learned along the way. So it's been really, really useful. So thanks again to the lovely Zoe for um, for doing me made, men, me made May again this year. It's been really, really useful. So if you want to take a quick look at my Instagram and see what I've been wearing daily, then then I'll link it down below. As always, thanks so much for watching any of my previous videos um, and for coming back for another video. Um, I really, really do appreciate every thumbs up, every subscription, every comment. So thank you very, very much. So first things first, I'll start with what, what I put on to show you today. So this is the Lyra dress by Tilly and the Buttons and it's in this most beautiful fabric by Love Fabrics Ireland. So as always, I'll link everything down below. It's the most beautiful viscose fabric. So I was a little iffy about the Lyra when it came out and then the more versions I saw, the more I kind of liked it. And I was like, yes, I would love to give this a go for the summer. And I have mixed feelings. So I have my notes here, so I will share them with you. So I made this size, so my measurements put me in a size four grading to a size five at my waist and hips, which is my usual Tilly measurement anyway. But then I had to look at the finished garment measurements and I thought the size four would be perfect with the um, amount of ease and stuff. So I went ahead and made that. So as always, did I buy enough fabric? No. So I had to cut some of the tiers a little bit short. So the um, I made the midi version, so all the way down and um, the bottom panel is meant to be two cut in the fold but I could only manage one on the fold and one single which actually was fine that's more than enough gathers for me so I don't think you'd notice that I was short on fabric it's absolutely fine. Um, I watched the lovely Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl and uh, I think we're about the same height and she had added two inches to the bodice which I did as well which I'm really really glad I did I definitely would need it in the waist. Um, I didn't add anything to the length and I didn't add anything to the sleeves and they're they're pretty great they're the nice um, elastic cuff sleeves. It's got a beautiful um, collar and collar stand, which actually went in surprisingly easily. I always struggle with this roundy bit here in every shirt I make, but I, I think it's OK. And as always, the instructions are great. However, I might prefer the instructions on the, say, the grain line Archer or the Closet Core Cali for doing the collar. We'll see. But this went in very, very nicely anyway. And then the bucket, button placket was fine, despite myself, me lacerating myself with a pin. So it's like a little uh, war wound on the inside, but we won't say a word about that. The buttonholes worked perfectly. So I just had these big white chunky buttons in my stash, which I think look quite nice. So I, I didn't put any up here. I've just got one here, one here and one here, which I think work really well. Um, it's got lovely bust darts, which give a nice shaping. My issue with the bodice, and I really, really like the bodice. I think it's a beautiful shirt. I think the sleeves fit nice and everything. It's just a little bit tight here. I was watching also um, Becky um, Notes from a Sewing Room. I love her channel as well. I'll link it down below. And I have a feeling she had the same issue. So my size four is a 36 inch bust, which is my bust exactly. And it's just a little tiny bit tight here, which I was quite surprised about. Not, not so much that I wouldn't wear it. And I managed to put a button here, so it's fine. Like, But it's just a little tiny bit tight here. Not that I go around doing this all the time, but you know what I mean. So that would just be a slight complaint about the bodice. But aside from that, it's beautiful. I think it's a lovely, lovely shirt. I think, yeah, it's really, really pretty. Then my issue really comes with the skirt. So I it's it's you meant to do a little waist tie, which I don't really like. Um, so what I did was I added belt loops here and this is just a ready to wear belt. And what I did was I put in elastic all on the inside to kind of gather it in. Um, so yeah, the belt doesn't really fit, but never mind. So it, it, it does gather in the waist of the skirt, which I, I far prefer, I don't like the tie. And that, that worked kind of well. Again, it's, it's not perfect, but it'll do with a belt, it's fine. My issue then is the pockets. They're just the inseam pockets, and I just think they don't look great. So here they are. So you, here are the pockets, which I love a pocket, and I think it's really great to have them. But they just, they kind of flap around, and I just think they add way too much bulk here with the, um, because you interface little strips here on both sides, and I just find them really, really bulky. They tend to make the skirt stick out a little bit. If you flap them back this way, 
I think it looks much better. So I might actually just take out the pocket pockets entirely. So there's another skirt um, that I will talk about in another video, um, my Frockdale's dress, which has the most beautiful way of inserting pockets and they're um, tied to the waist seam, which I just think works a little bit better. So I'm not mad on the pockets. Then it comes to the tear. So I think the tear just cuts me off in the wrong place as well. It's basically mid thigh here. And even though I didn't do that much gathering, I will pop in full length pictures here because it's tricky to see what I'm talking about. But I just think as well that just adds way too much bulk. And I think I would far prefer if the skirt was almost just one big piece to give it a little bit of swoosh, but not have the added bulk of the tear. So I can only imagine if I had had the full tears. And this fabric is, is lovely and flowy and stuff. So it's, yeah, it's a bit tricky, but I absolutely adore the fabric. I really, really do. And I, I want to love this dress. I really do also. I think it's really, really pretty. So I think I will fix the belt situation. I think the thread loops to the side for the belt are brilliant. So um, that's uh, the lovely Teresa from Last My Thread who showed me how to do that. A lovely video, I'll link it below. I also use it on my next make. And I just think it's such a pretty um, shirt top and skirt, but a few tweaks I think will make it much, much more wearable for me. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I have to say about that. But uh, yeah, I just, I, I really wanted to love it and I was so prepared to love it so, so, so much that when I tried it on, I was a bit, a little bit flat, but we get those days. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. But yeah, I'd love to know how you guys um, have got on with the Lyra. So do please let me know below. The next little quick project I'll show you is one I made for my boys and it's this little weather wheel. So I saw this in the Sew magazine, I think I showed it in my last video. So I just thought it was super cute so they can move this depending on the weather. It's just made out of felt and then I also added in a Today Is and then you can stick on the Days if you like and then they're all below as well, the little Kylie and Machine label. So I really really enjoyed making this and I would highly recommend it um, if you do have um, children in your life. I think they'd really really enjoy doing this and obviously our Irish weather, they can change it by the hour which makes it even better. So that was my little bonus make this month. The next thing I made was the Tilly and the Buttons Stevie and this is it. So again the fabric is from Love Fabrics and it's absolutely beautiful. It's a lovely uh, stripe uh, cotton poplin with little metallic hearts which I really really like. So yeah I made the straight size four so my measurements um, again put me in a four grade into a five but looking at the ease in this the four was absolutely fine and it's perfect. The only thing I did was add one inch to the length and that worked out really really well. So I really enjoyed making this. Um, I did French seams throughout it which worked out really nicely in this beautiful crisp poplin. So you can see that I've done all my French seams. I added, even added in the little label to prove it. So French all the seams. Um, I just added a little pearly button which I think goes quite nicely and again the little thread loop at the back just so I can put it under a cardigan. It doesn't uh, create too much bulk. So I really enjoyed making this. Um, the only other difference I made was instead of the facing, because I'm not that keen on facings, I just made a bias binding, which I added to the inside of the neckline, which worked really well. I just did it to here and then for the, the straight bits of the back, I just folded under, which worked perfectly. I couldn't figure out how to fold bias binding around that much of an angle. So, but yeah, it's at the back, but I just think the bias binding gives a lovely finish and it doesn't mean that you, it then doesn't mean you've got the, the flappy facing underneath. So very, very happy with my Tilly and the Buttons Stevie top. So the next thing I got made up in May was a remake of a t-shirt I had made for the So Frugal Challenge this year. So I had discovered the Patterns for Pirate Tulip Tea, which is a free pattern, which is fabulous. And I just loved my version. I made it in a kind of a, a burgundy zebra print fabric, which I love. So following on from the animal print again, I made it in this beautiful um, giraffe cotton jersey that I got from um, the fabric counter here in Dublin. And I just love these giraffes, they're absolutely beautiful. So again, I keep forgetting how much fabric this takes, so it shouldn't really have a seam down the back, but I don't think you'd notice. So actually it's got a seam all the way down the back and also a seam across here. <laughs> I did a little bit of a, a jigsaw piece, um, puzzle piece for the back, but I don't think you'd notice at all with this print, but it's just absolutely beautiful. I keep thinking it's just a t-shirt, but of course it's not because it has the full fold over at the front, this um, tulip front, which I just love. So you can see the cross over here. I got so many compliments on this t-shirt. Yeah, I really, really like it. It's really cute. It's beautiful in summary. Um, and for this, I shortened, in my previous version, I had taken two inches off um, the length, but for this, I put one inch back on the front, but kept the two inches off on the back. And now I think it's pretty perfect. It's really, really nice. I just love it. And it's such a comfortable lovely t-shirt. I really like the grown on sleeves and I just love the the cross over here at the front and I was able to do a twin needle stitching all the way along which came out really really nicely which is always a bonus. Um, I make the straight size medium and um, there's enough ease in that pattern for me it's absolutely fine. You can of course do the tulip at the back you can make it long sleeves and there is nursing options on this t-shirt as well which is really really great especially for a free pattern. 
Um, again, don't forget if you are making this pattern, it doesn't give you a pattern piece for the neckband. It just gives you the dimension. So don't forget to cut that out. And uh, yeah, it's just a gorgeous quick make. Yeah, I really, really like it. So yeah, it's just a beautiful little summer make and I think it's really cute. And I love these little giraffes. I'm gonna have to wear it to the zoo, aren't I? I am. But yeah, so that was my next make in May. I did a few more makes in May and these were very, very exciting ones. So I have a video um, dedicated to each of them just because they're so special. So this one is the um, beautiful Lynn Kaftan. It's the Atelier Jupe and the Belle Etoile um, designer collaboration for their summer collection, which is absolutely beautiful. The Lynn Kaftan um, in this beautiful Atelier Jupe fabric as well. And I have a video dedicated to that. So I was very happy and very pleased to be asked to be involved in that collaboration. That was great fun. And then the next thing was Frocktails, which again is going to get an entire video all to itself because it was just the most magnificent evening. And thanks again to Dressmakers Anonymous Belfast and Frocktails NI for hosting such a fabulous event. And if you haven't seen it, this is the dress that I made in this beautiful green uh, sequin viscose jersey. It's a Lady McElroy um, fabric that I got from Minerva. And this is the itch to stitch Antrim dress, which I just love. So, and I just made it sleeveless and it, it was just a fabulous look at those glitters that's washing out totally. There we go. Fabulous, absolutely love this. So I'll go into more detail on that video as well. And matching that, I made the little bag. So love this as well. It's a little uh, clutch bag. So love this with a little pocket here as well, which goes with my dress, which was perfect for the evening. This is the Incomplete Stitches um, Trap Eamy bag, which I just love. And the lovely Sarah, who is the designer behind um, Incomplete Stitches, was at Frocktail. So it was so nice to meet her. And uh, yeah, it's not every day the designer takes your bag and inspects it. But yeah, loved that. So I was able to get those made up in May as well. So all in all, a great month and um, I got some beautiful makes done and uh, I'm now going to go and have a little think about my Lyra because I just love this fabric so much. I really do. And I'm going to make a couple of tweaks of it and I think I'm going to get much more use out of it. But yeah, we live and learn, don't we? We can't have successes all the time. But yes, absolutely love this fabric. I just think it's beautiful for summer and it'll be lovely for work as well and a swishing round in this. So yeah, that's my next project now to get this fixed up. Yeah. So thank you very, very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. If you'd like to leave a comment below, you know how much I love having the chats. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe. And um, I hope to be back very, very soon with my June plans and a few other little videos, which is very exciting. So as always, thank you very, very much, everyone. Um, stay safe and take care. Thanks very much. Bye.